All right, gamers, I am about to watch the Brawl Talk, and I am a little scared. And also, yes, us creators get to watch it a day early so then we can make these videos. I always get questions about that, and I kind of feel like it would be a little obvious. But anyways, the title up there is Brawler Mutations Will Break the Game. Normally, when something breaks the game, that's kind of a bad thing. So I'm hoping that whatever this Brawler Mutation thing is, hopefully is not Hypercharge 2.0, but we'll see. I don't know if they've ever just said this feature will break our video game before, so let's be optimistic here. They've been doing very good updates recently, so hopefully they continue that. It's brought out Godzilla! A deadly Godzilla, farm. wait. Bra I think that Godzilla thing right there, the dinosaur was the new brawler that they have on the thumbnail. That's just the guess mutations? though. A metal head drag Wait, we're 10 seconds in and he, it just said brawler mutations and it showed an existing brawler. This could be hypercharged too. Right there. Eggs. New hypercharge. Lots Eggs. of new skins. Get a hypercharged skin. Oh. Okay, this is definitely new brawler and this is pretty epic. Look at that. He's a, literally a dinosaur. Three and more. It's just the over stimulation of the intro always gets me, bro. There's so much that happens at once. All right, let's Godzilla go. Godzilla to bring a monsters event to Brawl Hello? Stars. Hello? Maybe it's not a new brawler. <laughs> what am I looking at? So you get to play as Godzilla versus... Okay, I, I get it now. Hopefully it's a new brawler, but it just looks like a buzz game. This event is full of rewards, huh. and there's a new way to unlock them. Is this the new star drop? It's just eggs? That would actually be kind of cool. Each season, they change the theme of star drops. Monster eggs. I'm Drew, by the way, the new community manager. Hi. Nice to meet you. Smashing monster Welcome. eggs can give you monster rewards. Such as coins. This is insane, guys. Power points. <laughs> credits. Blink, it looks like star drops. new skins. And mutations. What was that? They were literally morphing into different brawlers. Monster eggs contain powerful new mutations. Hold up. This is this is just like a new star drop thing or a new star power. Grom bomb fires four additional projectiles in an X shape and he has an increased super charge. Huh? Wait, <laughs> I'm so confused. Mutations can affect huh? supers like bow. Isn't that what hypercharges are for though? I'm confused. I'll, I'll, I'll just let it play out though. Regular attacks like Pam having unlimited ammo and some unlimited ammo. Dude, I'm kind of lost. Are just there to cause mayhem like this one where hitting Hank huh? makes him fire his fish torpedo. This has got to be a goofy mode. There's no way that this is part of the base game. That's so broken. We have 30 unique mutations to unlock in total Whoa. and they're all wild. That's got to be for a mode. Make it's sure gotta to be. check out the Brawl content creator videos tomorrow to see all of them in action. Mutations no will be available in all game modes Huh? These broken abilities are gonna be for trophies too? Oh Before god. You the chaos if you don't want to. Wait, what? So you can't even like play the mode you want to play if there's mutations on it because it'll be broken? Like I'm confused. Mutations are only at Look at that! During the Brawl Stars and Godzilla event. So make the most of the- So they're just gonna be here for like a little while and then leave. So it's not the end of the world. But it seems like a very cool thing that they could somehow keep in the game for like friendly battles or something like that. What I'm getting from this is mutations are just like a goofy thing that are only going to be here for a little bit and then they're just going to be gone forever? Question mark. That does seem like a really big feature. You can get monster eggs by playing our huh. brand new game mode, City Smash. A new tributary mode right. where you can actually become Godzilla Wait. and Mecha Godzilla. This is a 3v3 mode? <laughs> There's no way. Your team must collect these and once you have uh. enough, one of you will become an epic okay. kaiju. It's called CD Smash for a reason. The thing that what? smashes the city the most wins. It's another goofy feature. There's no like, there's nothing serious in this update yet. It's a lot of goofy stuff, but I'm sure we'll be getting something. We'll see. Alongside Star Drop. Eggs. Wow. Unlock a free hypercharged skin and free jam. If you are in a club during the- Look at that Buzz skin. So maybe that thing is a brawler and Buzz is getting a related skin, potentially? Or that thing at the start wasn't a brawler at all and it's just for that event. I don't know. Is this replacing Mega Pig? Question mark? Monster Egg you open helps break a mysterious giant egg, unlocking huh. gem rewards and the final ultimate reward. I guess it is just like a visual change for Mega Pig. Exclusive hypercharged Godzilla bus. Oh, it is a skin. Wait, is there new no new brawler in this whole update? That's kind of wild. I thought this was gonna be a new brawler, <laughs> especially because Buzz just got an insane skin, so now he's getting another insane skin back to back. That's kind of wild. And they make your brawler transform when they are in their hypercharged state. What? W wait, okay, now I get it. You hypercharge and, and you change during the hypercharge. That That is epic. Still though, kind of funny how they did it to Buzz when he just got a PogChamp skin. So far, we're halfway in. There is no long-term content. There is not a single thing so far that will actually like stay in the game and like improve it in the long run. I don't think they even mentioned a new brawler. Maybe I missed it in that whole flash in the beginning. But so far, Godzilla season will contain Mecha Tick Gitter. 
Okay, here here is a skin that is not part of the event, Bruh. kind of. And Brawl Pass Plus will have the dark that's cool. and light color variant. Except it's another mecha skin, and I already feel like that's a bit oversaturated. More skins? Okay, here, we got more skins. Uh, it looks like a robot theme, which I, I don't mean to be trashing on this, but robots are like my least favorite theme in anything. This isn't just Brawl Stars related, so I'm not very hyped about this. Mecha Godzilla with a Kaiju Bruce. <laughs> it's just a bunch Mark of three. mecha skins. She's Okay, this skin for Eve is actually good though. I like this. The fluffy. Super That's Ranger a good skin. Brock, red, oh, yeah. yellow, pink. Oh black. boy. Until a bus which you can All find right. in Monster Eggs or unlock with your club mate. This skin is hype, but like I kind of just want to use the other one I just got instead of it. I don't know if I'm crazy for saying that, but I like the one that just came out more. New Brawlers. Hey it is happening. What do you call a sneaky plant? An ambush. Ah. Uh, Lily. The Piper Star Power. Oh, wait. He is a new mythic. Lily? That's crazy. Assassin. That's Apollo epic. Is she a friend or foe? Once what does Lily girl, do? Lily looks like a short range brawler, like woods. Fang. I don't know what I'm looking at so far. It just looks like a Fang kick that can splash. She's now part human, part plant, part firefly, uh. and all powerful. It's a one ammo Fang kick that can splash or that can pierce. Lily has a fast one ammo close range attack and charges her super when yeah. she's near enemies. Her super. So it's got the Cordelius ring. I'm calling it Cordelius because it's smaller than Buzz's. What does the super do though? Flourish is where Lily really shows off her oh. power. It is Fang too. You super. And it just teleports you to them. It's also gray. So it's Fang Gray number two. The Fang kick, that is just like Fang's, but one ammo and pierces. And then the super is like Fang's kick, except instead of going straight, you just teleport straight to them. In other words, this is basically the next brawler that people are going to spam. This is such a wacky brawler. I mean, it, it's very similar to other brawlers, but like being able to teleport directly behind somebody is pretty cool. She's the first huh. of junior brawlers coming the next. Yeah, that super is going to be wild against like throwers like this. They're not going to be able to do anything. I kind of hope that if you hit a wall with it, you still teleport, but I'm not sure about that yet. Oh, this is a new brawler. I'm going to be honest. I thought this was a Mortis skin. He belongs to this new star park. It is another short range brawler. I can see that already. The shots look like they have a little delay on it, kind of like Maisie's, but they're like Anita attack in a way. It's a close range brawler and wields a weaponized guitar, huh. which deals more damage when it hits an enemy directly with the tip. As a tank. I'm so lost at what this attack is about. I think like if you hit them at the end of the range, it's like the Maisie star power where you do more damage. So in other words, it might suck, but maybe not. His super will charge with each bit of yeah, damage it takes. Super when his super has been charged, Draco will mount a mighty oh. beast of legend. <laughs> Wait, that's insane. You hop on your dino and then you get a close range amber attack. I can see that with the bar. It is exactly like amber's, but it's short range. And damage reduction. No way. As well as a new area of effect attack. Uh, yeah, that health pool might just concern me a little bit because I have a feeling this brawler will be broken on release. I don't know, just by looking at it, but he's short range, so maybe not. Blasting I don't know. Fire in front of him. The DPS isn't incredible from what I could see, though. Draco, a formidable opponent while his super is activated. Allow yeah, you have a long time to escape that. It is, like, similar to Amber's damage, but maybe a little bit less. Him to control key areas and enemies for his team. Okay, so he just fell off the dino, so I'm not sure what the timer is there, but yeah, this is so wacky. Also, I just want to say i can confirm you do not gain all of your health back when you super because watch right here dark knight draco he didn't gain any health so i was way off on that part i don't know how i feel about him both of the brawlers seem interesting lily seems a little bit more fun to me we'll have to see i gotta try them out because just watching this gameplay here doesn't really show much for me this is like the hacker theme that people were saying was gonna come from like the survey skins that they released i'm assuming that some Cyber of these are Brawl. from that they did transfer that larry lori skin is kind of hype an rgb hacker brock the brawl RGB. RGB. All these attacks look kind of difficult to follow. Like, look at that attack. That's actually kind of cool looking, though. It's all pixelated and stuff. I don't know if that's going to make it, like, harder to dodge or not. Maybe I'm going way out of line here. This Fang skin is really nice, but I love this one the most. This skin just looks sick. The way that they're, like, completely different and, like, inverted makes it more obvious to tell who is who, but still... It looks really cool. It I ranks. like it. Virus Charlie. This is Charlie? I had no idea. What was your browser history? Should go through your browser history? Guys, start deleting it, please. I'm going to be honest. I was way more of a fan of the last seasons that we just got than the themes of these. Just personal preference. But still, at least there are two new brawlers. I didn't really... I thought that there weren't any. Six new hypercharges are coming. Oh. Brock fires a rocket oh. barrage. What is that? That's just wild, though. Sandy gives himself and his teammates.
Sandy? Oh, this guy's gonna be so meta after this. It's extra movement speed in his sandstorm. Okay, yeah. People were saying that for like a hypercharge, or not a hypercharge, a star power for Sandy, but now we got the hypercharge for it. That's actually gonna be insane to have. His super now also briefly oh silences when it lands. It briefly silences? So like, what, it stops people from <laughs> using their abilities? That's wild. It does two things at once. Need to hypercharge their bear. Oh, here it is. I remember making a video about this. I'm gonna guess it's gonna make the bear faster, stronger, clearly has more HP. It's just going to beef the freak out of Bruce. Giving him extra speed and health. Yep. Yup, yup. Okay, didn't make him stronger, like attack wise, but it did give him speed and health. So we were close. Max throws an energy drink to each team member, oh. increasing their. Whoa, wait, that's cool. She just chucks them to them, like the barley gadget. I like Movement that. Movement speed and partially charging their super. Oh, it charges their super. Okay, this is actually really cool. Maybe not like as good as other ones because you can still get them speed even if you're like not using the hypercharge but like if they're far enough away it could have some good utility Dick's head chases enemies faster and no not tick no leaves behind six of his mini mines what it just leaves mines behind it and it also moves faster i mean honestly that's not like incredible if you can just kill it but tick having a hypercharge makes me sad it explodes and jeans so Oh, it leaves them after it explodes still i don't know we'll see how that is first splits into three hands each being oh Okay, that one is not nearly as <laughs> amazing as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it just splits three hands when you shoot it. That should have been expected, though. We had so many theories about what it would do. I should have just went with the most simple one like this, where it just, just does that. And I want to watch this one again. Three hands. Yeah, so you definitely can pull multiple people, but if they're not in the right spot, this is doing absolutely nothing for you. 5v5, knockout. Yo, finally. I was just reviewing some posts saying that they want this, so this is pretty hype. Less brawlers on your team, the more powerful the remaining brawlers are. Oh, what? That's actually kind of cool. So your team sucks, but you become stronger. So if you're carrying, then you get to carry even harder. You know, that's kind of cool. We have a new ranked modifier, second wing. Brawlers respawn uh -oh. where they were defeated instead what? of their home spawn. What? <laughs> Wait, that is a crazy modifier. Imagine that in like bounty or wipeout or, or brawl ball. You could just camp their spawn or you could just run past them when they die and just go score for free. Wait, that's actually so broken that's gotta be like the most broken one yet right look out for the hashtag urban ninja no tara way giveaway. urban ninja tara giveaway guys join the giveaway leave a comment like the video subscribe and uh well in the comment leave your twitter because that's the only place i can really give it to you Wait on all social media more skins There's more oh my gosh beach time byron that's hype all of these are like really goofy like really cheap skins Byron, who needs to cool off parasol frank it's it's just a whole bunch of beach skins yeah so this one is getting the kill effect and stuff like that buy it right now before the update comes out otherwise it's gonna be way more expensive and you can't get it for blink so if you want it then get it right now galamortis it'll give you a galamortis i mean most of those skins i'm not even gonna use because i have better skins in them but they are pretty goofy i want wizard byron even if i can't get the original one which is better i'll take this one and i also want director buzz but i'm gonna be honest the red one looks so much better to me it's time cool. for our Whoa, more? Dude, we're just getting spammed with skins. Gamer BB. Yes, she's a real gamer. <laughs> gamer BB, that's that's hype. Like, no, she's a mobile gamer. <laughs> Urban oh Ninja Tara, for when a country ninja doesn't quite cut it. That super looked really cool. Squad Buster Shelly. Oh, it's not cartoony. It's uh, Squad Buster style. Well, guys, in two years when Squad Buster dies, at least we'll have this. Our super that's Supercell makes team winners. Dark Yo, what? That super looked insane. By Rex and Nightmare oh, Sandy by Getty Corp. Congrats to oh, our that winners looks and thank you all for voting. Mr. PP for Amber and Mr. P in the Mr. Game PP. Movie. We also have That's some epic. and true silver skins as well as a few skin remodels. What? And who my favorite skins in Brawl Star? Frippin. It's an egg. I can't believe it. This was the perfect opportunity for them to add Egg Pam. What the freak, Brawl Star? What are you doing? That's everything. Yes. Okay, that's everything, guys. Goodbye.